Hey everyone, Christian here, and I was driving through the area and noticed Bismarck's of varying uh, sizes and conditions. So these are two separate communities. Uh, maybe it's the same one with just two gates, but um, here in South Venice, but we have a pretty decent looking Bismarck, a little roughed up from the hurricane by the outer leaf, uh, outer fronds. That one never, it looks like it never really uh, was doing that well at all to begin with, just kind of planted as a stunted plant. And then we have one, and this is becoming a problem here in Venice, and I believe it's throughout Southwest Florida because of the hurricane, but, um, cause we have one over here, if you guys can see through the glare, that uh, these Bismarcks, the, the crowns uh, were blown out, meaning they were pushed all around to the point where the, the leaflets basically broke the crown. And I was wrong about the wind hardiness of a Bismarck. Now, they're, they're decently wind hardy, but above 100 miles an hour, um, which we, it got above here during the hurricane, uh, you'll definitely see fatal damage in many Bismarcks. And that's the case here. Uh, this is, there's gotta be dozens of these in Venice, if not hundreds that are dying like this. Um, and it's quite unfortunate. You can see Phoenix Sylvester's did just fine. Washingtonia is just fine. A C. Lorefi down there is just fine. Um, over here on this side, more C. Lorefi, Washingtonia. Um, and these two Bismarcks here are actually the healthiest. They're one's putting out a ton of seed. So um, <clears throat> that is uh, interesting that some look like they took very little damage and some is the crowns really it seems like the ones with the longer fronds did worse because they just had more wind resistance so i'm going to go with that um these are doing really bad and the best one is the best looking one as far as uh fronds is actually the stunted one so if you have a real tight crown on a bismarck that should really help out during a, a some sort of wind event and uh ones with floppy crowns are going to be seemingly less uh, hardy to the wind, and that makes sense. I mean, they're gonna be uh, not as uh, stiff and can't hold up, they're gonna break. When they break, a lot of times, sorry for the wind, but when they break, they uh, will attract uh, palmetto weevils and other insects that, that can actually smell the plant, um, starting to sort of rot in certain areas, especially the crown, and then they come in and kind of t uh, finish off the job, so. It's unfortunate, but I kind of wanted to make that, I wanted to make a video about that because I've just seen it all over town and I uh, hope you guys are enjoying the spring here. It's about 88 degrees out and I'm going to get back in the car before I start to roast alive. And thanks for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing and do lots of videos on different types of tropical plants, mainly palms. If you have any questions about Bismarck's, leave it down below and I'll get back to anyone as soon as I can. Thanks for watching.